Okay, now we had some WordPress news because there's a whole lot of stuff happening in the WordPress world, specifically full site editing. Soon we'll have WordPress 5.8 in which we will have a partial implementation of full site editing, which allows you, if you're using a full site editor compatible theme, right, John Al? I don't even know for sure, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there's a gray area, but yeah, your theme's going to have to support this. Yeah. Um, so uh, you will be able to use full site editing, which is basically sort of like a page builder, but built into WordPress itself. Um, and it's it's starting to look very good. I'm it, this path is really promising. It'll just take a while to grow up. So. Will you use this for your huge live site? I'm I'm guessing no, but it is it will be good to play with this and see what's coming and what and what you will be able to do with it in the future. Um, some of our team are working on this. I'm I'm really excited about some of the stuff coming in here because we will actually be able to do some of the stuff natively in WordPress that as SEOs and as people optimizing websites for speed we could only dream off in the past. Um, it was things like, we'll only load the CSS for the stuff that's on the page and we won't load the CSS that for stuff that's not on the page. This might seem simple. It's actually pretty hard to do in all, most systems. Um, so yeah, this is uh, looking very interesting. It'll be available somewhere in June, uh, if I recall the, the roadmap correctly. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is going to be a win. You've played with it at all, uh, Jono. I've touched it briefly, not in the most recent iteration, but I think I think this is going to pave the way for something really big. So when you look at the difference between editing content with the classic editor versus Gutenberg versus Brock editor, it's a huge difference. So you've got this, I have a wall of text that I'm styling versus I have blocks which can interact, which can have metadata, which can be dragged and dropped and transformed. It's a much more sophisticated, fluid experience. What full site editing will do is take your WordPress site and just make that the whole equivalent level of change. So at the moment, your WordPress site has posts and pages and attachments and a theme and plugins, and they're that's kind of a, a clunky, complex developer -y relationship. You're going to take all of that away and just say, you know what? You have screens and pages and templates, and now you can drag and drop blocks, and you can configure them and decide that logic. It will open up a whole bunch of opportunities to make websites more fluid and more interactive. And yeah, performance, which I'm quite excited about. Yeah, one, one of the things that I don't think uh, um... Uh, people understand yet is that we're re basically replacing widgets entirely with blocks as well, which, which is a huge improvement because now instead of two concepts, you only have to learn one. Yeah, and yeah, and people can just use blocks everywhere, which makes a whole lot of sense in a, in a lot of different ways. Um, I still see a lot of people that have that have something against Gutenberg really do go try it again. Honestly, it is so much better than it was when it launched. 